morning and welcome back to the channel. Uh, I am back on Lake Oroville this morning. Uh, gonna go actually smoky Oroville. Kind of weird. But uh, we're gonna go and uh, give it a try. I typically don't like to fish back to back lakes, the same lakes, but the bite was so good last time, I gotta come back. So here I am. Um, we got the uh, typical, we got nine rods this time. Um, I've got two rods with two different spoons. So we're gonna try those out. I got a mini jerk bait. I got a deep diving jerk bait free rig i got a deep diving crankbait and i got the um carolina rig and the uh drop shot of course so we're gonna get on the water uh hopefully find some fish and uh give you a good show so stay tuned all right we're here's our first stop this is where we caught them last time on a spoon we're gonna try a jigging spoon a little something little different it's very similar it's just uh, it's called a live, it's a live, live target uh, chicken spoon. I'm just gonna throw it down there and see what we can find. There's a bunch of fish down there, so I'm sitting in 74 feet, so it's gonna take a little while for this thing to get down there. I can see fish running around already, so that's a good sign. That's on the bottom. around the jigging. That is a beautiful looking bridge first thing in the morning, isn't it? spot where we ended last time uh, the fish are still piled up on this in this area uh, so we're gonna try a drag and I got a small Kai tech on a jig head we're just gonna try bouncing this on the bottom <clears throat> see if that works I threw a, a jerk bait out here I thought they would come up for that they didn't a deep diving one um, so I dropped the drop shot down there once or twice that didn't work so we'll see we'll give this, we'll give this to like 10 minutes or so and or less and <laughs> we'll keep moving oh nope there's a bunch of fish down there I, make, I got a feeling there are a bunch of smalls but you never know there's big fish mixed in with the small fish so uh, sit here and enjoy the smoke <laughs> and the view there we go Oh, 
Well, we know it's down there now. A bunch of these. Yep, there's one that got it. Little one. Itty bitty sucker. Probably had it on the fall. No fighting, son of a gun. Well, maybe. As we get closer, maybe he, he'll fight a little more. Oh, yeah, it's bigger than the last one I caught. So this is my second. Oh, he's throwing up fish everywhere. Here we go. Here we go. Your little Oroville bass. <laughs> and that's probably not even 12 inches, I'm guessing. Let's see. Let's check her out. Let's just pop her on here real fast. We'll Nope, it's a 11 and, 11 and a half. Let's do that. Oh, there we go. Well, that worked. Now let's just see if we can upgrade it. We've got two fish so far. Both uh, haven't even reached 12 inches. So that's not good. But uh, that was a little deeper. So let's see what happens with this. <clears throat> Maybe that'll track the fish. There we go. It did. Oh, that's a little better one. Let's see if we can get a, a 12 incher. <clears throat> there it is. Oh, yeah, that's a better one. That, that might be. Oh, man, it is spitting up fish like crazy. Oh, fell off right in the net. Thank you, sir. Yeah, that one's 12 inches. All right. Make sure. Holy crap, this thing is pretty sad everywhere. Okay. Oh, look at them bouncing around. Oh, come here. Come here. Ow, ow, ow. All right. That is a 12 and a quarter. Oh, well, I'm almost, I'm almost 12 and a half. Can I get it to reach 12 and a half? Yeah. No. Little dude. 12 and a quarter. There you go. We'll see if we can upgrade here. Um, with the amount of fish I saw coming out of that thing, I'm going to try that little jerk bait thing again, or that little jig here, because that looked very similar to what that guy was throwing up, but that worked pretty darn good too. So, all right, got a little hot spot. I got a nice one on a drop shot. Z-Man, little fishy thing. Ah, there you go right there. And that's the official term is the fishy thing. So that's probably another 12 incher. There's a ton of them down here. They must be chasing bait like crazy. So let's toss that back. Let's see what we got. Lengthwise, I gotta get stuff out of my way. What do we got here? What do we got? This is probably the biggest fish so far. 12, 13 inches. Yep. 13 inches it looks like. So 13 and a quarter so look at the belly on that thing man they are chowing. So 13 13 and a quarter biggest of the day so far. Hopefully we get bigger than that, but that's good. So
There's one. There's one. Stay down. Stay down. There's one. They got them very good. There we go. Oh, wait. That almost looks like a largie. I think it is a largie. It is. Yeah, there's a little large meal. That's a surprise. Number five. I don't think that's the 12 inches. No way. Nope. 11 and a half. Yeah. The elusive largemouth fish. All right. There you go. Bye bye. Boom. All right. Free rig. Strikes again. Room brush hog. No. Okay. That's good. Again, that was a very light bite. That was like strange. Well, I just got dive bombed by two jets. Let's see if another one comes in. Uh oh, here they come. I can hear them. Looks like they're coming up the other arm. Maybe not. That's so loud when they go flying over the top of you. like Top Gun, but it not, in real life. I've had them come right over the top of me before. Scared the living piss out of me and it's super loud. Six. Six. Little jerk speed. Oh, there's a nice one. Hit a hard at least. It's probably a small one, but it hit it hard. Oh no, that's not that's not a bad one. That's a keeper. Yeah, that's a little bigger. Bigger than the last one at least. That's two jerk baits in a row. Oh, it's not a keeper though. Oh well, it's just barely 12 inches. Now close your mouth. Keep your mouth closed. Nope, not even 12. Now a seven overall. Yeah, I'll see you stop for lunch and catch a fish. Oh, and it feels like a decent one. Making a run. Trying to make a run. Where's he at? Get out of here. I see you. There you are. Oh, no, stay away from the motor. Come here. Come here. Oh, jump in the net. Oh, come on. There you go. Oh, so you got a lot of buddies down there too. I can see that. 
a bunch of buddies with you. All right, well, that's a pretty good one. Just stopped for a little lunch break and uh, threw the drop shot out there, and I caught one. Let's pull it out. Come on. There we go. That might be a 12 incher or 13 incher. Oh, 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 oh. Ow! Again, another reason you don't want to do this like this. If you're in a tournament, the thing flops off, not good. But we're not in a tournament yet, so. So 12 and a half. So. All right, I think that's number eight or nine. One of the two, there we go. Okay. No. Oh, yep, nope, yep, yep, I got one. Yep, there we go. Ooh, that, feels, that looks like a nicer one. Oh, it was a nicer one. Shoot. Came off. Spitting up shad left and right. Alrighty, well that's a bummer. That breeze might help the bite. of a bitch. I don't know how I held on to that fish. I don't know how that fish didn't come off. That's a really nice one. Let's scoop it this way then. Much yeah. Okay. Good day right there. Just playing around with them. At least I think it's a big fish today. It looks like it. Definitely the, probably the heaviest. Barely had a hook. Just whipped right in there. Go. 13.75, 1.2 pounds. Little dude, but, or not little, or Orville, it's a good size, but it's a good one. Here we go. All right. It's got a nice one on the free rig. Got a little chunk out of the top of its head, but let's see, I think that one might be. Long enough to pull a fish. Let's see here. Oh, 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 he lost part of his tail too. Oh yeah. 14, 14.75. That's a good one. There you go, look at there. Take us to the day. Let's put her back. Get another one. I haven't caught a couple two in a row in a while. It's been pretty slow. Let's see what we can do here. I didn't even know I actually had that fish. I didn't even didn't even bite it. I feel the bite. Oh, oh look at that. That fish 
screw up that that fish. Looks like a bluegill. see that or not but it's a baby bass it looks like they're eating their own that's what you just threw up the free rig up a little bit I went to a Sanko and uh, moved across the other side of the lake because it just didn't seem like it was going on over there got a nice one probably I don't know 13 14 inches Seven, five. There you go. All right. I don't see him down there. Uh, I was beginning to think I wasn't going to get anything because I was just barely dragging it on the bottom and I felt a thump. So. Another one, a little tore up on the nose. 13.75. Nice little fish. There you go, going back. Boom. Right off that point, dragging it. All right, just to recap the uh, the fishing trip. The morning was a bit slow. Um, there was no wind, so I think that really slowed down the bite. I could only catch fish on the uh, finesse stuff, so on the drop shot and the small Kitek on a jig head. Um, in the afternoon, the wind picked up, the bite got better, uh, and I caught some fish on a jerk bait in the free rig. Um, then in the afternoon, I made my way across the lake, uh, and uh, the quality, or the quantity, I guess like actually the quality and the quantity, of the fish seemed to pick up. Um, it still wasn't as good as the last time I was out there, but it was better than the other side of the lake. Uh, I ended up catching 12 keepers on the day, uh, 20 plus fish overall. Um, if you haven't been out to Lake Orville in a while uh, and done some fishing, it's time to go. The bite is amazing. So uh, get out there, have some fun. Um, thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next fishing trip.